welcome to this edition of Street Hacks production. I'm your truly Elizabeth Angola. Our guest today is an author who wrote a book titled So You Think You're Educated. The book is based on um, education in the perspective of a Christian. How exciting is that? May you please give the viewers a glimpse into the life of a Christian author? So you're asking my past and my, my present. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Daniel Luciano. I've authored a book titled So You Think You're Educated. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, my story of the past, I really ascribe it to God's creation story in Genesis chapter 1 where we see God creating humanity. And I also ascribe myself in this story because it gives meaning to myself. And, you know, when God was creating humanity, and I would think that God, when he came on my day, therefore said, uh, let us make Daniel Luciano in our own image and likeness. And it was so. When God had finished creating Daniel, um, everything was good. Everything he, he saw, and he might have commented and said, look, Daniel whom we've created is good. I find myself as a young boy who is privileged to enter the gates of the university. And I find myself as an SRC uh, of student parliament where I'm a secretary, executive secretary. And I'm also one of the leading members of um, a group known by its acronym IMPACT, which is a group uh, brought about by young people with concerted efforts to change and impact society in meaningful ways yes okay what inspired the ra the narration of the book so you think you're educated okay um namibia for me growing up namibia has been a, an utopia it's, it's a good it has been a good country but over the recent years there has been a change in moral morality of the namibian people there's so much moral decadence in society therefore if i tell you today if you walk out of this room right now mm -hmm. and you pick up a stone and throw it to someone, you realize that you you have hit someone with the thought of killing or raping you. This is not hypothetical, this is not um, something I'm making up, it's not, I'm not being cynical, but this is the fact of the matter. Even uh, the newspapers pages are filled with violence and corruption stories. So this is what really brought me about to narrate this whole story. Mm, that is so amazing. So apart from writing, what other activities and platforms do you use to spread the spiritual growth and understanding? Um, I do not really have platforms where I express myself, uh, my spirituality, mm -hmm. but I use myself as an example or in, as an epistle or as a letter where people must read my story of who I am. Uh, people, when they look at me, they should uh, see a Christian passing by. And every, every, every time I, I move in the midst of people, they should be able to see really that there's something different about this person. And as such, um, I, I always say that my life should present a strong argument on why people should believe in Christianity. That is so amazing. What challenges do you face in this industry? The challenges that we are facing in this industry is that people are not confident to tell their own stories. For too long, uh, the African space have been filled with literatures from people outside this, this continent. We have few uh, literatures that are written by Africans and Africans alone. So therefore, one of our, our challenges in this industry is that people are not willing to write their stories, particularly for the reason that they are not confident. People are just not confident to write their stories. And also another thing is that uh, Namibia is known for just publishing academic books we don't really publish self-help book it's so amazing how namibians are now giving you know the younger generation a platform where they can express themselves and we should just thank them the publishing company for doing that for you it's so yes. amazing with christianity being in havoc and people being confused as to what christianity really is what challenges do you think you face as a christian author because you're not just an author you're a christian author what challenges do you face um you know, uh, though we say Namibian is a 90% Christian country, um, it, it's very sad to find that uh, Namibians are feeding, I, I call it junk, are feeding on junk. Anything and everyone that comes in the society, as long as he's claiming to be God, as long as he's claiming to have the word of God, whether in, in, in published materials or anything, people are ready to consume. It's as if there is a hunger 
of the wedding people. So in, in, it, 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 in just on that, you, you realize that people might just succumb to any person that claims to know or claims to be a man of God. Okay. May, may you mention uh, a few names from uh, who you draw inspiration from? Uh, I cannot really point my fingers and just point to, to say that really such and such is, uh, is inspiring me. But you should know this, that I'm inspired by everyone and anyone that wants to bring uh, changes in society. For as long as we are impacting society, you are an inspiration to me. That is amazing. Who keeps you focused on your vision? Uh, there is only one person that keeps me focused on my vision, and that's particularly the God who created the heavens and the earth and everything that we are seeing today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's God. Uh, if you look through the lenses of the Bible, you realize that in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, down to 4, you realize that God says, write a vision. I'm one who have identified myself to say that. I will write a vision. And then God continues saying, I that have said, write a vision. I will read it and I will make it come to pass. How do you plan on uh, building and maintaining a successful fan base in a world where we are all uh, occupied and entertained by technology? Um, I use... I use social media platforms, um, uh, particularly Facebook and uh, well, WhatsApp. Uh, mm -hmm. These are my two platforms that I use, and I've been engaging and establishing a social uh, fan base where people would uh, see my post and they, you know, mm -hmm. they comment. You know, in in that way we are interacting, and at the end of the day, they we I'm creating a fan base, and for those who do not know me or who do not know where to get me on Facebook, uh, uh, click I'm Daniel, you you find my name there. Uh, most people ask me why do I write my name on Facebook as I'm, I'm Daniel. Uh, there's, there's so much power when you personalize things. You have to personalize that. It is me, not anybody else. So, find I'm Daniel on Facebook. Okay, so you're unique in your own right. Um, with writing, um, so you think you're educated. Do, do you think that you are fulfilling a purpose? Yes, uh, I, I think I'm fulfilling a purpose, though I must confess to you that for the past 22 years of my life, I have been in a quest for searching uh, meaning and purpose for my life. And it hasn't been an easy road because sometimes you are introduced to false sense of love, hopes and, you know, false friends, falsehood and everything and everything seem to be false. But um, I recently found my purpose and my purpose is God driven. And that purpose is to save humanity. If if I if I can put a smile on your face, that is the purpose. Okay, if I can put a smile on your face, that's you just put a smile on my face. Okay, so what has been the most satisfying moment in your career as a as a Christian author? Um, I come from an education space. Uh, we we as teachers or edu educators, we want to make sure that knowledge gets through into the into the minds of people so when i write something and people come back to me and say look i really love what you have written that really keeps me moving it, it gives me joy because i know that somehow some way i have imparted knowledge i have uh, inculcated knowledge in, into someone's mind okay how do you how do you see your work impacting a generation in a few years um you know a generation is so much it's, it's a big thing but mm -hmm. I, would, I, 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 I specialize in um, quality. Mm -hmm. For as long as if this book that I've written can change one person, uh, I'll be glad for the rest of my life. Um, in fact, you should note that the book I've written is not so much only focusing on, uh, on, on uh, morality or intellectual knowledge. It is a book that uh, one day by God's grace, to say that it's going to uplift people, even physically. We cannot watch people languishing in poverty, and you are, you are, you are talking about them that really, look, they, the society is messed up, and you are not doing anything about it. So this book, this book project, I really want it to praise and uplift the name of God. Mr. Luciano Daniel, what is your ultimate uh, goal with this book? My ultimate goal uh, is to impart knowledge in society and in short i would say that this book must be used to 
populate heaven and depopulate hell. <laughs> populate heaven and depopulate hell. How amazing is that? Education from the perspective of a Christian man. You don't find that every day, and that is so awesome. That was all we had for you in this edition of a Street Hugs production. Until next time, if you're streaming, you listen to the access on us from me to you. Bye bye. Thank you.